I'm really excited about this project, Sky. <sighs> Super excited, Bob! <laughs> um, yes, I guess. Sky wants us to build a 100 metre zip line all the way down this slope. I need it finished as soon as possible, though. It's part of my new outdoor fitness program, which starts this evening. Team Bob won't let you down, Sky. Super! And when it's done, you guys can be the first down the line. <laughs> Brilliant! Need to fly. I've got running, swimming, and gymnastics all before lunch. <laughs> What will the zip line look like, Bob? We'll build a platform up here and run the cable down to the bottom of the slope where we'll build a break with crash mats and a net for a soft landing. You all right, Leo? Yeah, fine. Really, thanks, Lofty. So, can we build it? Yes, we can! Right, Scoop. We're going to build a break for the zip line. I need you to drill holes diagonally into the ground so the poles can go in like this. No problem, Bob. Oh, only one bolt left. We used a lot to fix the platform. There, done. Wendy, it's Bob. Hi, Bob. We're going to need more bolts this end. I'll bring some down. Thanks, Wendy. Leo, can you take charge and finish the platform for me? OK. Thanks. What's next? Well, I think we need to place this extra thick post. It's the important one for the zip line. <clears throat> Come on, Leo. Move it left a bit. <clears throat> now right a bit. <clears throat> And down we go. Phew. Mm -hmm. It's a good job done. You're very quiet, Leo. What's up? I'm just not sure I'm very good at being a builder, Lofty. I can't even guide a simple post into a hole without help. Don't be silly. You're the best apprentice ever. <sighs> I guess. I'm heading down to Bob, so I'll take the cable with me. Coming, Dizzy. <gasps> oh, yes! Are you sure everything's OK, Leo? You don't seem like yourself today. No, no, I'm fine, thanks. Really. Hmm. I want to pour more sloppy concrete! Thanks, Wendy. Dizzy? Bob, do you think Leo's OK? He seems a bit down. Really? Hmm. I wonder what's bothering him. I don't think Leo wants to be a builder anymore. What? That's what he told Lofty. Ah! Building is the best thing you can do. Bob, if I'm finished here, I'll go and help Leo and Lofty. OK, Scoot. Hey, Lofty. Dizzy says there's something up with Leo. Yeah. He's been acting a bit weird. <laughs> oh, I don't believe it. What did I do wrong this time? <sighs> What's happened to the line? I'm sure Leo fixed it to the platform. I'll go and see how he's doing. Oh, I didn't use enough bolts. That could have been really dangerous. I'm really not cut out to be a builder. Leo, where are you going? I think I should give up, Lofty. Building isn't for me. Oh, oh no. Leo's going to leave the team. We have to make things right, Scoop. Uh, Leo, uh, you take a break. Tea, biscuits, whatever. 
We'll sort this out in no time. Uh, got it. It'll be all right, Liu. You'll see. Do leave us. Lovely. The concrete's not set. No. I've made things a hundred times worse. Oh, I know. I know. Never fear. Scope will save the day. I'll just push it up right again. Sneak this. That's it, Scoop. Keep going. Keep going. Too far, too far. It's boo, boo, boo. That is not good. Uh... What's going on? <gasps> well, um... Sorry, Sorry Bob. Bob. What happened to the platform? We were just trying to fix things because Leo wants to leave the team. Leo wants to what? Where is he? Leo? Are you OK? What's up? I'm sorry, Bob. My mind isn't on the job. Is it true you want to leave? No, but I took my college test yesterday. I studied really hard, but I think I failed. I'm no good as a builder, and now because of me, Sky's zipline is wrecked. Tests aren't everything, Leo. You need to study and practice to be a good builder. And you didn't ruin the zipline. No, that was us. We panicked. Hmm. The posts have split, so we can't rebuild it as it was. But maybe we can work something out together. Well, Sky, there's been a tiny setback, but, um... <gasps> We're thinking of making the zip line longer and more thrilling. Thrilling? How? We could attach the line to this tree. It looks strong enough, and we can get it checked for safety. That sounds fantastic! But we don't want to hurt the tree, so we could use... Um, strong cables wrapped around it instead of drilling bolts into it. But how will people get up there? With a staircase made of logs. This sounds very rustic and outdoorsy. I love it! It's my college tutor. I must have done really badly in my test for her to call me. Answer it, Leo. I need to know. I need to know now. Hello. Leo here. Really? Really? Wow. Thank you. Yes, I will. Thanks. Bye. I passed with top marks. Brilliant. That's super. Well done. You know, Leo, Bob had to take that test three times before he passed. And look how good he is now. Well done, Leo. It takes study, practice and imagination to be a brilliant builder. So you won't be leaving the team after all, will you, Leo? No, I guess not, Lofty. You're stuck with me for good. OK, guys, a promise is a promise. You get first try on the zip line. Well, I'm not sure. Go on! You can do it! Yeah, it'll be like whiz, whoosh, whee! You know? Fun! Never fear! <laughs> and never give up! Whoa! The 
size of it. Are we here to watch telly? Oh, no, Muck. May Moon has a very special task for us today. That's right, Bob. I need my launch pad finished. <gasps> what are you launching? Here's a clue. A rocket! A real one! It's gonna go soon! Spring City is entering the space age! That's right. May here is going to attempt to break the record for launching the smallest rocket into space. A proper space rocket. Can we see? Can we see? It's very impressive, May. She's called Stella, and she's only ten feet tall. Hello, Stella. She can't speak, Muck. I can still say hello. Wow, a real space rocket. I've wanted to launch my own rocket ever since I was a little girl. Tonight, my dream will come true. Uh, I never thought I'd get to see a real rocket launch. Oh, I can't wait. Be careful. Oops. Don't get too close, Lofty. Stella is a very sensitive piece of hardware. Sorry. So, May, once Stella blasts off, how will you know if she reaches space? I'll track her with this app that I designed. If Stella flies up 100 kilometers, then she'll reach the edge of outer space. But how will Stella come back down? She'll fall back to Earth, Muck, and probably use a parachute to land gently. That's exactly right, Wendy. Look! But I must have a clear sky for the launch. Well, it's clear now, but the forecast is for thick cloud by the morning. That's why I need to launch Stella by tonight. No problem, May. We'll get it done. OK, guys. First, we need to dig a big pit just here for Stella's exhaust to blast into. Then the launch pad will go on top with a gantry tower to keep Stella upright and steady. The whole area will be covered in concrete. And there'll be water jets to cool the metal launch pad when Stella blasts off. Got that, everyone? Oh. Uh, Lofty? Are you listening? Yes. Yes, Bob. Concrete, water, blast off. And you'll have the most important job, lifting Stella into position. I get to carry Stella to the launch pad! Lofty! Oops. Sorry, May. I will be really, really careful. Don't worry, Stella. I'll make sure you're ready for launch. She can't speak, Lofty. There can't be any messing around with Stella. She'll be safe with me, May. OK, Bob. I'll leave you to it. OK, team. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! I lift Stella onto the launch pad yet? Soon, Lofty. OK. How about now? <laughs> There's plenty of time, Lofty. You can put Stella in place once the concrete is set. You just need to be patient. OK, Bob. I'll be patient. And ready. There. All done. <gasps> they finished. I have to fetch Stella. Let's get a good look, Lofty. I want to see too. Stop it. I need to get Stella to the launch pad. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I need... Huh? Wait, Lofty. Not yet. Who? Oh. Oh. Who? Careful, Lofty. You're going to... rip the parachute. What have I done? Oh, no! Oh, no! Stella! She's ruined! I'm really, really sorry, May. I wanted everything to go so right, but it's all gone so wrong. I said you needed to be patient, Lofty. Oh, 
never get the record now. My dream is covered in wet concrete. Listen, May. We'll get Stella flying somehow or other. Really? Can you really get Stella flying? Yes, yes we, we can. can. But we're due to launch in two hours. Then it's T minus two hours and counting. We'll be ready, May. I know I can count on you, Bob. OK, Lofty, let's get Stella out of that wet concrete. Yes, Bob. Slowly, gently. She won't fly like that. Not with concrete all over her. Then we need to get it off quickly before it sets. Perhaps... Yes, Lofty? We could clean Stella using the machine wash back at the yard. That's a great idea. But maybe you should let Muck carry Stella in his dumper. I can do that. I can carry Stella. I made the mess, so I should make it right and carry her. But we're on a countdown, Lofty, and we'll get there quicker if Muck carries her. If you're worried about Stella, you can come too. You're right, Wendy. We need to work together. Let's rule! Scoop. I know! We still have a problem. The parachute is torn and there isn't a spare. Stella can't go into space without her parachute. Otherwise, she won't be able to come back home safely. Hmm. <gasps> Bob, I think I know how to fix it. Lofty, really carefully, please. Well done, Lofty! You. Let's get over to Mission Control. Be patient, JJ. Here we go. All together. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stella! You can do it! Break the record, little rocket! We did it! So, where is Stella now? idea to use the banner to patch the parachute, Lofty. You saved the launch and Stella's coming down in a safe area, just like I planned. Well done, Lofty. Well done, May. Thank you, Bob. Stella's a record breaker. If you feel like breaking another record, May, could you build a rocket so I can be the first crane into outer space? <gasps> Lofty, the space crane. Interesting proposal. Let's see. Yes, I could. <gasps> but I'd need a rocket 300 feet tall and a launch pad the size of Fitzham. <gasps> Bob, can we build it? <laughs> Why not? It'll only take us a year or two. 
How exciting!